So I'm going to ask you the first one is um, with you being a promoter and a wrestler and uh, a trainer as well, uh, can you actually still enjoy watching wrestling or do you tend to super analyze everything? Oh, yeah, that's hard to say, you know. Um, good question, because I find myself a lot of times not enjoying wrestling because I do overanalyze it. Uh, I think I think it really depends on uh, depends on the situation. I mean, I, I still love it. and I love seeing when things go right. I like when seeing things are, are going great on all cylinders because, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff we see on TV, the performers are so gifted. The wrestlers are gifted. Um, the production is great, but it may be missing storyline or it might be missing, you know, common sense. Uh, other times, you know, I'll, I'll watch an independent show and I'll be like, wow, this in-ring action is great, but the production's lacking. So it's, it's, it's hard sometimes. I, I always find some positive into it, but there are often times where um, I'm always watching wrestling with goggles on. But it's just like, because you did a thing recently where you had uh, Zeus in the show. And while that might not be okay with people like Meltzer, to people like me, it, it would be like, right, well, I'm going to that show because I want to meet Zeus. That's, yeah, I think, I think maybe if Meltzer might have been for it. You know, there's no, it's just a mix of, uh, I, I try to, it, independent wrestling, wrestling's changed over the past couple of years where be, I've, I've only been a promoter for, it's going six years, six, seven years now. So it, the independent scene has changed so much where there's not a lot of really different big acts to book. And a lot of times, even what it used to be was there's a lot of, you know, former WWE talent you could book. There was people readily available, legends, Hall of Famers, um, people that just left the company. Uh, WWE doesn't really release that many people anymore. And if they do, most of the time it's for a reason where you're probably not going to book them on, on your show because of something. So I've ran out of a lot of stuff to book. A lot of the top independent acts, they're not really independent because they're under contract. So, you know, someone approached me with, what about Zeus? And I said, uh, you know what, for, for having him on the poster and having him do a promo, I'm going to roll the dice. And I, I, I said this on the last interview I did with WrestleZone. I said, uh, I don't know if it's going to work out, but it worked out great. You know, uh, a lot of people came out to meet Zeus. His line was the longest. He cut a crazy promo that, you know, um, was just kind of boasting about his success in Hollywood. But it was one of those moments where this is so wild and weird, but it works. So um, booking Zeus was definitely a success. And um, people can m maybe make fun all they want, but at the end of the day, Zeus was in – the Dark Knight, and that's possibly the greatest superhero film ever made. So that's a draw. It's been a lot of stuff. I just think that it's, you know, if there's someone that's done something with pro wrestling, you know, you're, you're never, if you, there's a lot of merchandise collectors out there. Part of my business is not just wrestling shows. It's conventions for people that are looking to get their action figure or poster signed. When are you going to go to a wrestling event and meet Zeus? Chances are it's probably never going to happen again. So a lot of people came out with their posters and their SummerSlam memorabilia and their and you know um, a figure and they get their autographs and they enjoy an, inter an entertaining promo and uh, you know Zeus got us on got us a lot of publicity for that particular event. So sometimes you got to do some wacky things to get people's attention. 